Hey there, I just want to do a review of Glenn Cronkite Gig Bags. Uh, Glenn is a guy that uh, has kind of got a cult following amongst guitar players and other uh, instrumentalists, including brass players, um, for building some of the finest gig bags on the market. Um, Glenn was one of the co-founders of Reunion Blues, which is a, a name many of us have heard, but what few people don't know is that Glenn is the original maker of those cases, and they're currently Reunion Blues are being made elsewhere uh, with other shapes and designs, and Glenn has since uh, long parted ways with them. He's doing his own cases with the original patterns that he used in the 70s, 80s, and so on and so forth. Um, I had first seen one of his bags uh, when one of my guitar teachers growing up, he had, a, he had one for his archtop guitar, and I just thought it was the coolest looking guitar case I'd ever seen. Um, so uh, here's my Cronkite bag. I had this made for me in the year 2006. And so I've been working with this case for eight years, and let me tell you, not a zipper has broke. There's no holes in it. This thing has just totally stood the test of time and gone on hundreds and hundreds of gigs and tours and just been all over the place. And I just, I, I love it. It's some of the best money I've ever spent as a, as a working musician. So let me kind of run down some of the details here. We've got um, a gig bag here, as, as you know, is a soft case. It's not a hard case. Um, this is by no means something that you want other people to handle your, your uh, instrument in. This is something that you know I feel mostly safe when I'm um, handling my guitar in this case. Um, but it's pretty darn sturdy. If, if there was an emergency and this thing had to go under the plane, uh, I could think of worse gig bags for the instrument to be in. But uh, we've got a leather covering here. He made it with uh, what's called chocolate leather and British tan is the color on the front. Um, it's got about a maybe a half an inch thick of what he think what he kind of uses is like futon um, foam. Uh, it's 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 firm but it's flexible and it kind of is shaped to uh, the interior of this case. Um, he has this really cool leather patch here. Um, eight years later, my case, my guitar's been in and out of here hundreds of times, and there's just barely wear on this um, from the uh, from the tuning pegs and the and the string ends scratching into the top of this. I mean, really, really great worksmanship here. Um, and uh, Glenn is, is, is pretty um, particular about pockets and, and, and all sorts of accessories with his cases. He only builds these guitar cases with one main pocket here. It's about a foot long, maybe a foot across inside. Um, I can fit when I'm touring in here my iPad and, and a cable and picks and strings and string winder, uh, but don't tell Glenn I put that much stuff in here. He's, he's, uh, he's very clear when, when you get one of his cases. He says, don't put a lot of books, don't put a lot of stuff in front of this because it's not good for, the, for your instrument, for the guitar, and, and I can understand why. Uh, again, if you're careful, you know, this is a, a great tool to have because it helps you get into the venue with just, just the gear, but it can also be something you can damage your instrument with. Um, again, just the worksmanship, the build, all the, the gussets here, all the, um, the corners, not a single thread has come undone in, in eight years of gigging with this thing. The back side, um, very similar set, British tan with the chocolate brown um, gusset and chocolate brown straps. There's a nice little hook here you can use to hang it on a coat rack. And, and uh, this is obviously super helpful here. He puts a patch of leather on the bottom so that when this case meets the ground it does not damage the zipper um, that is going by right here. Um, just another way to make this case last longer. Uh, I use um, boot cleaner to sort of get the grime and, and stuff off of this when it, I'm touring. Uh, it's been in the rain, it's been in heavy humidity, it's been in super dry conditions and it's just been a fantastic home for my Gibson when it's not in its um, flight case. I also have a Calton case for it. But he makes other patterns too. I wish I had more to show you in this review for guitar. He makes a common Strat Telecaster uh, case and, and various acoustic guitar cases. Um, and then he makes a whole bunch of patterns for brass and woodwind instruments and percussion instruments. His cymbal bags are, are world renowned as well. In fact, I guess the rumor was he started building these cases because as a drummer he made one for his cymbals and everyone says, oh, where'd you get that case? And he said, I made it. And so everybody wanted one. Um, that was back in the 70s, probably when a time that gig bags were a little bit more of a primitive um, thing. Guys weren't quite yet using things to, like this to haul their instruments around in. But anyway, I give it, if I could give it 100 stars, I'd give it 100 stars, but I give it a full five-star review. And if you're looking for a gig bag, 
Um, there's cheaper options out there for sure. This thing was only about $380. I wonder, his prices have probably gone up a little bit, but they're cheaper than the Reunion Blues cases, and they just are fantastic. My buddy Bruce Foreman said he's used his for almost 30 years now. Um, same with Russell Malone. Um, he told me he's been using his for well over 30 years. I mean, this is like a great, great piece of gear to buy. So the Cronkite gig bag, and you can find his information by Googling Glenn Cronkite cases. And his website is very, very minimal, so you just have to call his phone number and tell him what you're looking for, and he'll get it to you in just a couple weeks. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Thanks a lot, and uh, good luck out there.